happen, yeah? Let's talk about the pause meta, because this is, um, this is a big, big... Okay, the pause thing is definitely not a problem at all. I think Philippines won it fair and square. There were rules, there was a rule book before the tournament. I mean, when the... Obviously, here guys, okay? When we're talking about a, an event as big as SEA Games, as big as Olympics, Asian Games, whatever it is, there will be a rule book made way beforehand, before the competition even starts. They would have already, like, you know, made this rule book. They would have already crafted this rule book. And the thing is, it all, everything that happened, all the pauses that was, um, that was, you know, requested by Team Philippines, it was all accepted by the referee. The referee has to click pause, has to tap pause on in the game for them to actually pause the game. So it all abided by the rules. There was nothing wrong with the pauses, right? And if there was something wrong with the pauses, it's more of the committee's problem, right? Um, we as viewers, we as supporters, we accept what's ha what happens, right? It's like when you're in football and there's a VAR check. But yeah, uh, for me, I think it's just a very sorry excuse to use the pause as um, as as an excuse to why they lost. I think it's a very embarrassing one as well. Uh, as an Indonesian myself, I feel like all the insults and the IG reports over to the Filipino side is embarrassing. It's very it's disgusting, disgusting move. It's embarrassing enough that we lost, right? But um, the actions of the fans has made it 10,000 times worse. So again, um, for me personally, I want to say, even though I wasn't part of any of this reporting, obviously, I want to say sorry to all the Filipinos who uh, maybe felt offended by this th these actions made by my fellow countrymen. But this is me, and I'm pretty sure all the pro players, everyone, uh, all the content creators in Indonesia, everyone who supports Indonesia, who actually has a brain, they do not support reporting, making fake accounts to report MPLPH, to report blacklists, to report the players, to send them hate and threats. That is a very disgusting move, and it's the worst thing that I could have possibly fucking... Hey, oh, it's such a bad thing. It's such a bad, bad image on Indonesia now, right? Like, most of the, the people who actually spam report those accounts, they're probably little kids too, so they don't understand anything. So, um, just, just ignore them, if you can, just ignore them. Uh, bro, chill with the facts, your IG gonna be gone soon now. Dude, if they spam report my IG, it's, yeah, whatever, dude, like, that's crazy. The, the thing that made it worse though, guys, yeah, because, here, and I'd still be, okay, like, if they spam report Philippines, it's kind of like, okay, whatever, it, this is what they've been doing since M3, right? But, they spam reported Coach James. They fucking took down James's IG account. Now that that is just mind blowing to me. How the fuck? How the fuck are you gonna fucking report the coach that got us to the finals? The coach that oh he he's a Singaporean. He he's like in Indonesia just to do this, you know? It's fucking what? That is I don't know. I don't know, man. I have no idea what the fuck like you you, sp you spam report Philippines okay you you know you know we, we lost the Philippines I can understand as a fucking stupid ass kid why you're you're doing it but why the fuck are you canceling your own coach my guy like what, what the fuck it's so dumb it's so dumb it's really so dumb I that was the first thing that like got me triggered right how the fuck you gonna that's just insane yeah they they spam reported James